Greetings gamers and welcome to the 07 Iron Podcast episode 10. Today we're going to be doing a podcast that's more specifically revolving around the combat achievements and the Zuck Helm. Now, as you may or may not know, if you watch my videos, I am one task away from getting the Zuck Helm. And spoiler, the task is completable and I do get it. So I do have a Zuck Helm, which you know what, I'm going to wear it just because, why not? So it is a spoiler, but it's pretty obvious that I ended up getting it. Uh, the task I had left was budget setup from Inferno, which is really easy. But um, yeah, without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. So I'm here with one guest, Help Me RNG, which fun fact is actually the first guest that I ever had a duo ramble with. Is that right, RNG? That that's correct. We did a top duo ramble, and I have occasionally been recognized for it. That's that was a while ago, dude. That was like a year and a half ago when Something we were both like sending tobs. I think I you think didn't I have like... a site too back then. We were doing like no, I was 15. like. I was like 700 KC back then or something. <laughs> that was good times, dude. You want to like introduce yourself from scratch because uh, I'm sure not a lot of people uh, know who you are. Uh, so I'm a high level Iron Man who hates skilling. Um, I don't clog. I just literally PVM basically. Uh, I've done a fuck ton of tob, like 20, almost 2300 tobs, a lot of chambers. Don't particularly like Toa. Lately, I've kind of been working on the CAs. Um, yeah, so I'm just a blood rune fanatic essentially hell yeah dude you're still in the top addiction even though you're green lung i want a second pet i'm so dry <laughs> for the pet cool uh, i i'm just like for reference we did a duo top ramble like before next came out before hard mode top i think came out too it was a really long time ago and uh it was a very good ramble actually we watched it like a couple months ago during the christmas holidays it was interesting and like some of the points we made in that ramble were like like spot on by the way like we discussed how tob would be harder to find teams post next and it, although it wasn't post next it was post toa that made it harder to find teams but it is actually the case so very interesting i just remember like a minute of silence because we were both like focusing on p3 tornadoes or something like that oh yeah we were doing to tobs we were literally running 416s while doing a ramble dude what the we were so ga so much gamers back then holy shit Now we're just like fucking doing casual skilling while doing. I, I I spend more time bank standing than playing at this point. <laughs> All right, let's just jump straight into it. I don't think it's gonna be a too long podcast for this one because uh, it, the topics are very like um, like precise. They're not. They're very narrow, I guess. So, um, firstly, I mean, do you want to start talking about just combat achievements in general? What are your thoughts on it? Even though it's been out for a long time. Like, we've had a lot of time to do them, and new CAs have come out in the game since, too. Like, uh, to uh, Toa, Musfa recently, and yeah, Nex. What other ones that came out? Is that, is that the, those three? Uh, well, yeah, there was Toa, Muspa, Nex. Yeah, I think it was just those ones. Oh, Fasani, I... too. Oh. Yeah, because Did they? Yeah, but Fasani came, like, the CAs were added, like, really close to CA start. I oh, okay, I didn't, I didn't remember that one, yeah. No, that's it. Um, yeah, I don't know. So, like, with the CAs, like, I thought they were a really good idea for by Jagex. Like, it's um something that, you know, if you're really bad at the game or you don't have a lot of equipment or time, you can do, you know, some of the easy, medium, hard. Even the elites are, like, I, you know, we use the word free a lot, but they're they're pretty free. Um, and then, you know, as you get to the master and the, the grandmasters, it just gives... It gives people a, a way to mix it up a little bit, um, do shit you wouldn't normally do. Now, now some of the tasks, of course, are not good, but some of them are also like really nice as well. So overall, I think they've been a really good thing for the game. Yeah, I'm a big fan of them too. I think at first they looked very overwhelming, but if you like slowly chip on them one at a time, you kind of just get through it pretty pretty quickly, and. Uh... You know, it really teaches you to master every piece of content. To I mean, I'm talking for GMs at least. And even masters, like it teaches you to at least have a good mastery of all bosses to be able to achieve the Master Helm. And I think it's a nice sign of prestige if someone is walking around with a Master Helm because it shows that they're able to do all contents. And now there is, of course, exceptions to that, which we're going to talk about later. But um, I, I think it's, yeah. it, right now, I think it's at a real, really cool place. I think the rewards were fair before they buffed it. And with the buff, I think they're really good. 
but uh, what I was scared about with the buff is that if you buff the rewards, then it becomes more like people really feel like they need to get it. And when people feel like they need to get it, well, then it kind of goes to shit because then people complain that it's too difficult. And then Jagex is trying to remedy that by making it easier. So I'm kind of like giving an overview of my entire thoughts, which we're going to like deep dive in each section individually later. But um, yeah, that's like a general overview. So it's good. Uh I like CAs. I don't like the changes that are coming up. I think the buffs, I'm, I literally just yoink Barter's spot. <laughs> He's doing mediums. <laughs> but yeah, it's like a o- general overview. So do you want I, to like, uh... Uh, Okay, keep going. Oh, sorry. Well, like, I was just going to say, like, you know, you mentioned how, you know, like, the Zuck Helm shows that like, you can do all the content in the game. I think it shows you're a well-rounded player. But, like, as I've gone further in the CAs, I realize is you don't need to be that good at the game to actually get it. Um, Because, like, there's so, like, all those end game pieces of content, Inferno, Top, uh, even, like, Gauntlet. You can go so much deeper than just, like, what the Zuck Helm provides. Like world records for Tobs and like chambers are like literally minutes ahead of the grandmasters, for example. Yeah, it, it does. It, it, it's true. Like, but then again, like some people, they they like you said, they're gonna master a specific content and that's it. Like some people I've rated with, through, like with Tob, they're next level gamers of Tob, like ten times better than me. But then I do CMs with them and they plank every fucking room and they don't know what's happening and all that. That's just like a. Some people they prefer specific content and they full send that, which is completely fine. Wow, Actually, call it out, call it out like, DD like so. that. <laughs> call it out divide like that. Wow. <laughs> yeah, did that dude, I see. That dude's like, I did the uh, top speeds with him, like one and done, two men, one and done, three men, one and done, four men with him. It was fucking crazy. That guy's a beast. But yeah, he's a prime example of a top gamer. Uh, yeah, so you want to talk about the uh, yeah, yeah, dude? It's heavy topics. You want to just jump straight into the point system? Uh, sure, sure. Okay. Do you want me? Do you want to introduce it? Do you want me to introduce it? Uh, I, I sure I can. I, like I mean, so like if you've you know read any of the blogs um, or watching any of the streams, Jagex has pretty much outright said they are going to pull a point-based CA system. So this way, instead of saying, like, you need to complete all 120 tasks in, like, let's say the master tier, you can instead, like, it, you you can already look at your combat achievements right now. All of them are assigned a point. So they're going to ba- basically assign, like, thresholds. Like, if you get 10,000 points, you've unlocked elites, for example. Wait, do you already Is have the points gener- assigned to it? I, I believe so. Or am I just smoking something? Uh, Go to bosses... No, they don't have. I don't think they have assigned points yet. What the hell just happened? Oh shit! Okay. Oh, maybe they don't. Okay, I, I, I swear I've seen it that it's built in. Oh, you know what? I uh, yeah. Okay, that must be. What, I don't know why I'm thinking that I saw points there, but either way, yeah. That that's what their plan is. Is that they're gonna have um, assigned points to it? Now, there's been a couple, you know, speculations on how that might differ. Like some of it just might be like you know, just basic like tax bracket esque systems, like what I just said, or even going, some people said like, "Oh, you need, you still need to complete twenty five percent, or fifty percent, or seventy five percent to unlock like the various rewards. For example, like thralls, or the hilt, or like the penny, or something like that. Like all those would come at different tiers within it. So that's something we don't know, but we know that Jagex is going to pull it, and I'm pretty sure it's going to pass. And I don't, I don't really want it to, personally. Uh, that's, that kind of sucks that we have the same opinion. Shit, it would have been fun if we can debate it. I, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah I, 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 so like, here, here's my thing. Like, I get some people are like, you know, cock blocked by some tasks. Like, you know, I, I potted with Magic the last couple of days to get in the trio Tob time, and that was actually quite difficult, um, to, to do just because like we needed a, a second person, and then everyone needed to perform really well, and we, and we had to go for like a two down bloat, for example, um, just because like other gear and strategies weren't there in the other rooms, um. So like you know it's good it's good in that case like you could just skip that you know I really really hated like Toa for example um, I could have just skipped that but like so what, like one of the common tasks right now that a lot of people hate is there's the eight man Toa there's the 150 which for the Masters a lot like a lot of people are getting the Verzikelm right now right because Masters is a lot more achievable you don't need to be that great at the game 
Yeah, the 150 uh, uh, sub 18 eight man is really easy. Like you don't it, need like actual sweaty methods. You just need like a team that's clicking boss and not AFKing. Yeah, but but a lot of people really hate that task because it, it just sucks finding the team, and then yeah. you know it just makes one like one person screwing up at the who doesn't know how to do the tick perfect um, Crondis room, for example. You've just lost the team like thirty seconds. So it it's like little stuff like that. It, it's an annoying task, and in my opinion, is instead of going to the tier point system to avoid certain tasks, why don't we adjust said tasks instead? So you would adjust the um, Toa eight man speed and replace it to uh, like a different scale, like solo or like four. Yeah, maybe maybe like a solo or something. Like I mean, with the Toa one's kind of tricky. Um, it just makes no sense for me to have th three speed times four Toa. Um, one's a sub twenty, one's a sub eighteen, then once and one's a sub eighteen again. It makes it makes zero sense to me. Um, I would have liked to see a Toa uh, or a solo scale in there, perhaps. Yeah, they should or have maybe, uh, diversified a yeah. little bit. I agree with that for sure for Toa speeds. And also, like, when they did the uh, eight mans, like, all the uh, boosting discords that were offering, like, services to boost you, like, they're all, like, ka -ching, making money like crazy from that. So I guess that was yeah. unfortunate too. But I think, I, that, I mean, like, I... the, the, the time is really, like, the 18 man, sub 18, eight man 300 is not a difficult task. It's just that one is even harder to find a team. As opposed to the the, the master. That, that's just it, it. It's different. Like I can go find a trio like Tob team because you know there's a benefit to doing just the, like it's good money. Yeah, maybe it's fun. Tom. Some people like going fast. No one does 150 toes, right? Like yeah, so. So I'm just hard to find. A team. Yeah, like <laughs> and, and you know like that's just like the the thing I'm kind of like you know using as the example there. There's other tasks out there as well that a lot of people don't like, but but the my opinion is you could yeah. also do it in like a four man if everyone is good. Like really good, you can do a four man one fifty sub eighteen. Right, but at that point you just go, you just elevate yourself straight up to the the eight man. Yeah, you might or the the extra level it easier. But yeah, yeah, you don't have to. Uh, but... Um, so like I I don't like the the point based system just because I think if there's a problem with tasks, you should address the tasks themselves. And not only that, now you could you could be a you could get a master helm by never doing a single tob never touching the inferno and now you're a quote-unquote master yeah, you, you mentioned that when they that's that's funny too i think that's uh like um my overall opinion on this uh on this proposal is make it point based up to elite for the jad helm because those are where the rewards are actually like really good but not like really difficult to attain and then make master and and the zuck helm so master and gm require everything of the yeah. appropriate uh, range. And I, I don't disagree with that because a lot of people hate like the KC ones. Like I can understand, you know, maybe you're a hardcore, you really don't want to go kill Vedion for like 50 KC or whatever it is. Um, it's like, you know, like there, there's some benefits the other way. I know a lot of people who are like, you know, who are, who are decent at the game and they're like, I just really don't want to go fucking do Temporos. Yeah, that's fair too. But for Zuckham, so I, I think they agree that it's going to require everything, which... Thankfully, well, Zuck Helm will require. I guess my my uh, particular pet peeves are definitely with the Verza Helm, potentially with the Jad Helm. Yeah, Jack, the problem is, is that like, um, so I'll go, I'll go back. So at first, when they released CAs, they specifically said that they're not gonna add any, like, uh, they're not gonna add rewards to it that are too OP, because otherwise people are gonna feel forced to do it. Like, look at the Max Cape, for example. The Max Cape requires ninety nine in all skills, as you most likely know. And the K perks are absolutely insane. Like it provides you so much benefits, so many teleports, so many features. People bring it to the Inferno, so good that it is. Yet, they're not proposing to do like, oh, you know, you can have a point space system for the max cape. If you get level 90 agility, you can get 20 mil slayer and it compensates. They're not doing that because that's that's stupid. But the thing they, with CAs... They, they did do points for the, the quest cape though. They, yeah, they're they actually, did all they that. For, they want to do it for quest case, which is... I think it's a really cringe direction in the game. The game is already relatively easy, and like, if you look at a macro sense, this game is a 0.6 second delay point and click game. So any action you do, you have a 0.6 seconds to react, which is a shit ton of time. If you compare it to other games like League of Legends or CS:GO, your reaction time is in the milliseconds. Like you have like five or 50 milliseconds to react. In this game, you have 0.6 seconds to react, which is huge. And with all these plugins, it's so much easier to react correctly. You can see your true tile and everything. I personally don't think the CAs are difficult up to masters. 
I think the GM ones are hard, and I'll give it that. But anyone can get a Master Helm, and I'm very confident about that. Uh, I mean, kind of sidetrack a little, a little bit. I know we weren't... We, yeah, we're sorry, I'm like all over the place. Much, but, uh, That's but, no, what happens um, when we're not organized. <laughs> but, uh, but, like, you know, going on to, like, um, you know, let's say, like, some hard tasks people usually find are... There's stuff like Perfect Theater and the Grandmaster Top Times. Like, you know, if you go to the CA Discord, those are everywhere, because people struggle with that. Um, and, you know, the, the kind of consensus is you can either play really well um, and do a two down bloat, or you can just do a one down bloat and be dog water in the rest of the rooms. Um, so the new prayers, for example, um, I, I'm leading to an eventual point here leading back to CA. So the new prayers, um, someone did a simulation and you can get a one down bloat like 95% of the time. For example, really, you know, Holy just just money room. Yes, yes. So, so like as as we also get like power creep as well. I'm kind of curious if Jagus is ever going to go back and, and adjust like it, the time yeah, harder. But to be I... fair, like the top times, uh, the TOB raids too. By the way, we have to give a bit more context. By the way, for the abbreviations, because some people might not follow uh, the the top times. They're really really hard. Like they're actually one of the harder CAs. Uh, to to complete because their times are actually like you have to be good to do those ones unlike the other times that are relatively easier like the regular chambers times are very very easy the cm times the challenge mode raids those ones oh, are much so harder. easy well, so they're, easy <laughs> they're easy if you get like normies to help you out but if you yeah, only go on with iron, iron, they're yeah. much harder yeah sh the shadow i mean that that's a good example of power creep like those were hard CAs to get uh back in the day. And now with Shadow, um, Light Bear, Missouri, Vambraces, Torva, all, uh, Blood Fury, like you can realistically get them quite easily. You just need like one guy who knows what they're doing. Yeah, it's not as bad. I, I don't I don't think they're ever gonna make the times harder. I think they're always gonna leave it as is. Because the problem with doing that is that imagine if I do the CM time today and then tomorrow they make it two minutes faster. Well, I, I got a huge benefit from finishing it prior. And I feel like people are going to complain about that. Unless you make everyone have to do the time again, which then, like, you're going to piss off a lot of people. Yeah, I don't think there's a win and move. Like, I think, you know, we just have to accept, hey, there's power creep in the game. If you didn't get the Zuck Helm, you know, the first six months of release, congratulations. There's this new stuff that came out two years later that makes it easier. Yeah. Because, I mean, <laughs> at the same time, there, there's a ever, ever decrease in pool of players to pot some of these tasks speed times or whatever but you know some really stupid ones that you wouldn't normally do like i.e the 150 tob, toa dude. yeah like perfect tob the 150 that one toa. dude that's like if if okay so here's a question if you were if you were working for jagex and you can rework the cas what would you do like i uh, gave I was... you like i give you full veto like whatever you say like reddit can't say shit like it's just in the game no problem uh, what would you do um i would like to oh i'm just trying to think here um i i like the the thrall changes okay here's here's what i would fucking do if you got a if you got a either a verzik or a zuck helm uh you get to do whatever slayer task you want it does you maybe you don't get drops for it um like you just pick a uh, slayer may, class yeah you could like so for like you know because like the the whole reason i got like master cas is just to like i wanted two zuck tasks right so this way instead of being turial locked you could just like pot suck nonstop, for example. Um, maybe you're like really want a bunch of money. Screw it, go pot Hydra nonstop. You know, and you you can maybe make it where like there's no drops associated, or there's no pets. Like you could figure out those those. That would be fine so details, but... OP, dude. Like skillers would but, but... be so mad because they would have to do Zuck Helm to be able to do like nonstop smoke devils. <laughs> well, but you know what? Like you put the time in to get a Zuck. Screw it. Like why no, I, think, I think that's too OP. If you could. Do like pick one Slayer task a day, like. Maybe... Or, or, but yeah, you you could do it that too. Like you know, and like Slayer Cape now is, uh, I don't know, even oh, like maybe the Slayer Cape 10, is twenty percent. Ten free skips a day or something like that. Or yeah, oh, or yeah, increases yeah, the percentages. Like or or again, just pick any task you want, and there's no drops associated as well. Like that's a, that's a thing too. Like I would do that just for, just for like Zuck. For um, pen you know, Yeah, like that'd be a nice for like masters, right? Like say, oh, I need to, I need to go now grind a, a Hydra task just to pot speeds for example like now i could avoid that entire thing. I, I don't i don't think that's a good idea maybe maybe for like chambers if you can like pre make a scout that could be a cool reward so you can pot like the chamber speeds without having to pay a mill to a venue or a bot farm to scout for you 
yeah like like stuff like that like and and again like i you know some people might be like upset because like it unlocks more efficient methods but screw it you went and got the like you went and got the helm do it or or like i said or even just take out the rewards associated with it like you can't make gp from this at all like maybe it's a scout way where you can't sell it maybe it's you know you can only get you can pick whatever task you want but there's zero drops associated like that that would probably be like the number one thing i i would probably go to okay that's i mean uh, i i agree with um like if you make it one slayer task a day but i think it's too op if you do the other things um also Perfect, perfect Toa, just so everyone else can suffer. No, 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 dude. <laughs> That's actually one thing I would do if I had the power. I would remove perfect Tob, even though it only took me two attempts because I was running with like Giga Gamers. I still think it's a stupid task and they should remove it. I I hate Zarpus in it. Um, the RNG I know you, on uh, the first phase of Zarpus. You yeah. you can technically do it where like you remove all the like, but everyone has to know exactly yeah, what they're doing. Not, that's just not going to happen, dude. It's RNG. like I. I I mean, Verzix, you know, the rest of the rooms are are fine, I think. Um, bl bloat is also a little bit annoying just because, like, you now have to play safe, whereas, like, normally I'll just, like, fucking eat every fly in existence and then tank the stomp just to, you know, do extra damage. Yeah, it does make it less fun for bloat. I don't, I don't know. I think the perfect tob, like, where you have to do the entire raid perfectly every room back-to-back -back in one raid, it's just... It's not that it's hard. It's just really frustrating because you're doing it. You're doing it in teams. Like if it was only you, you had to do it perfectly. That would be cool. I'll be okay with that. But since three people in the team have to do it perfectly, in the same raid, no mistakes. Oh. Well, one thing I probably would get rid of is um, uh, team tasks for nightmare. It's just it's it's a dead boss. I mean, it's just uh, yeah. But they, they, they released that yeah. when Fasani wasn't a thing. Remember? So they didn't actually I, I, like. I, they wanted to have something for Nightmare for Speeds, and there was no Fasani, so it made sense for it, them to it, add it back then. It just kind of goes back to though to like the the point that there's an ever decreasing pool for tasks. Like if you want to pot the, I think it's a master task where no one uses a prayer point at Nightmare. Your options are you can do tick perfect um, prayer flicking for 20 minutes in a solo Nightmare, or you can get a group of people, and was really hard to find. It that I I was looking up for that task for about a month just casually in the CA disc waiting for someone to like get a team and then I would hop in. Um, and every time I did that, one of them would fuck up anyways. Cause they just didn't, they didn't have a good blueprint on how to do it. They're like, Oh, six brews will be fine. Six, six brews was not fine. That one's we, we, was super easy though. You just one tick flick everything. And then, Oh, we didn't, we, we didn't even just activate our prayer. Um, I, I was one tick flicking, but one of them, they, yeah, they just kept screwing up. We're like, screw it. Everyone bring Justy. Everyone bring 12 brews, and this is what's happening. That's so cringe, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but again, like, you, like, there's some tasks where it's just, like, you know, like, again, like speed CAs, um, solo ones, you can pot those whenever. There are some tasks that require, like, the second you need to get, like, four, five plus people, it's awful. Cause, and it, it's it's not fun task that no one wants to go do, right? Like no one wants to go do that task. Yeah, you know what? No one's gonna do it for fun. No, people are only gonna do it for the CA. So again, like you know, I, I would go back, like you know, take the shitty CAs and then remove them or like edit them, for example, right? Like um, I always go back to that toe example because like, wouldn't it be good if there was like a um, uh, words words like a like a solo speed time, for example, it's like something like that could be nice. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't add a solo speed time for Toa. I really expected them to do that. Like you can technically do the sub 18, but like you have to be like, uh, you, uh, I'm talking the, the GM one. Um, the, the GM one, like I think there's only been a couple people who've gotten sub 18 in a solo for the one? master. Yeah, uh, the sub in the 150 or the 300 and 300. The 300. No, one, no one's gotten it. I think the world record is 1910. Oh, okay. For the 150, you can definitely do it. Like Hefi was you, like you, got the 19. You could do it in a yeah. You could do it in like a solo or like a two or three man for sure. But but again, you know that means you have people who are good at the game and have good gear. Why am I gonna pot a 150 with you? Yeah. So. But I could just go pot a 500 or something. And make like 10 times more money. <laughs> but um, yeah. What else would you change from the CAs? Uh. I would I, add, like I would add a reward in the master section for 
master clues. But I would make it like maybe, maybe like make the mimic chance slightly better, or make it so that you can get like more masters from the clues itself. Which that would be kind of OP though, so I'm not sure about that. But yeah, I do like what they did with the defender hilt, where like there's a teleportation now in it. You can wear it at all times. You know, it's like a like a flex item. The the grandmaster one looks really stupid, but oh well. I think it looks um, cool the golden defender. But yeah, the yeah. master looks nicer. I do agree though. Yeah, but like I, I, th I thought something like that was nice. That was really nice for Toa too, because I mean, uh, I mean, you saw the video where yeah, in the I just FFA worlds, and you just like they all die, and you're just like, all right, peace, and he tell me. <laughs> yeah, I, I just teleported out to save myself the the 500k or whatever. Um, but stuff like that's kind of nice. Um, I'm just trying to think here. Like maybe I would add, maybe I would like incorporate it so you could add like the lucky penny to a, I don't know, like an infernal cape or something. But that's just kind of at this point. Yeah. Screw it. Blood fear is now last twice as long. <laughs> just, just devastate the bot Bruh. market. <laughs> blood fury is already way too OP. I think yeah, blood furies are f balanced for like they should have made it untradeable. That would have been very interesting if it was untradeable. That that would have been nice. Yeah. I mean, I I you know it took me months to get my amount of blood furies, and like I think I have like fifty thousand charges left or something. They're so good. It's so good at so many places, but it's just not like it's like semi worth using for irons. Because you have to spend the time to get it. But if it was untradeable, how cool would that be? It would be a bit of a balancing act, yeah. I don't think normies would even go for it if it was untradeable. Maybe it's like AFK and for like this the rough task. Um, but yeah, I can't think of anything else I would change about CAs. Like, you know, maybe like adjust some tasks here and there, but um that's about it. I um I'm just trying to think, like, it'd be nice to also, like, cater to the really high-end group, like, make something harder for them, but I don't really know how you can do that, other than, like, at that, this point, they're just pot in, like, they're just pot in, like, world record attempts or, like, arbitrary goals. Like, yeah, I'm gonna go get, like, a sub-13 top or something. They could add, like, uh, PBs on the, uh, some of the CA's tasks. Like, for example, you know, like, the Vorkaf, there's a task to do a 10 kill trip. Well, they should have like a PB section on that. Like, who has the most Vorkaf in a trip? And then they could have high scores for that too. It would be interesting to. Um, this would this would this would annoy a lot of people. So, like, it'll never, of course, go in the game. But like, imagine if instead of like, okay, Vorkaf is fifty four seconds, or um, you know, Tob is now what whatever it is, like thirteen fifteen. Um, make it so that you need to get within like, I don't know, twenty percent away from a world record or something. And the world record always changes, so he always gets harder and harder. Right, so one guy could just go nuclear and then, like, remove the helm from, like, 200 people. Bruh. <laughs> and then that, that, that fixes the power creep problem. But again, it, that'll never go in the game. No, I'll no be one so wins mad if I have to, like, grind Vorkaf for days because some dude spooned, like, a crazy time. I'm one tick off from Vorkath and I'm tilted beyond hell. <clears throat> Dude. Yeah, that, t that task took me a lot longer than I expected. I think it took me like four hours of resetting. Maybe it's just a skill issue, but... Um, but yeah, I can't really think of anything else to adjust right now. I thought the thralls were a really good change. Yeah, I think the thralls were cool. Like, I know people were complaining that they should, like, half the prayer cost instead or something like that. But I, I find the longer thrall duration a lot nicer. For for irons, at least, it's way more cool. And also for some top tall rooms, like, you spawn the thrall at the start, and then you're good. It just stays there forever. It's really cheap. Yeah, for Akka now, you actually have to, like, you have to time your, um, your resummon at, like, what is it? When you go to the second quadrant now, otherwise your thrall is going to last too long. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I know for like when we we're doing 300s, we I wouldn't spawn a thrall because if I do, it would still be alive on the come phase, and then it rags the team. The yeah, yeah. So like that, that's just it. Like if you didn't wait for your thrall to expire, you would you would summon it early while it's already active, to to manually like get the time times to align. And then of course like uh, chamber scout is really really big one that a lot of people have um talked about and i'm i'm not too opposed with that i mean at this point screw it let people um you know do do something to make scouting a little bit easier whether that's a gold sink or a skill sink or a time sink do something i think 
Yeah, I, I agree with that too. Or make it so you can pay. Like, make it a gold sync would be the best way. Because it's better the, that the GP gets synced out of the game than it goes to a bot farm that's scouting a VTVs for you, which now, is like now the here, perfect raid. Here's where the uh, yeah, so here's where the um, spaghetti code kind of comes into play. I'm not sure if it's possible to make it so that those layouts you're doing are like you have to do them. Like you can't sell them anymore because otherwise, what's going to happen here is, and I'm not too opposed to this from for selfish reasons, like is there's going to be make their own and yeah. give it to someone else, right? Because now it's like you can guarantee like VTV, VTV, VTV every single time, right? Like so, it's yeah. going to completely change the market there. Um, but the price would be like very cheap if that was the case. But the price would be yeah, yeah, that's just it. Like the, it'd be like two hundred k or something. Yeah, the the demand is decreased and the supply is increased. So yeah, it, it would it would plummet the price. Which again, like I, I fuck it, I no one likes scouting for twenty minutes. Dude, I don't you'd like make like an alt, rush Zuckhelm, and then sell scouts. For like I only know of one guy. I only know one person who has Zuckhelm on uh, two accounts, and he got it on like oh, it was like nineteen seventy total or something. I think that, he was. Is that uh, Smork? No, that's uh, it's Heckin Alt um, from Ironscape. Oh, I don't know that person. I know that um, Smark was grinding Zuckham on his main a while ago. He was doing like hard mode top with me for the kill count pass. Oh, now that I think about it, we probably should have gotten like Hefty or something in here because um, I haven't been following Cold One's like Rush to Zuckham series at all. I'm like an episode um, behind, but I've been watching the, the videos on YouTube, so I don't follow his Twitch, so I'm, I might be like really behind. But I think that series is really cool. I think he, that was a really good idea that he had to do that. Um, one thing I will say, okay, I, I know I I do know now know of a task I would remove, um, <laughs> or rather I would just give myself the gear to do it. Um, doing the solo nightmare, regular nightmare, without a heart, without a shadow, yeah, without inquisitors, that sucks one's eight. Are you it's going doable. The GM or the master? The, oh, the GM. I, oh yeah, don't, I, have, don't, I have the don't. master. <laughs> just wait, wait for either an ink piece or a shadow. Oh. Yeah, if that's the thing. If that task didn't exist, I I think I'd already have Zuckhelm. I would have just dude. Shit, shit that task was one of the harder ones for me too. I did so many resets for that one. And that, I was that's just like, so it, tilted. It's it's not a hard task. It's an RNG it's a task. Skill. It's a, it's not a skill. It's a it's a gear check. Yeah, that's that's really just what it is. I mean, I think Praisefoot even like he did it with the the Fane when it was cracked. Um, like so the 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 pre nerf Fane. Um, and I wish I would have done that too because i didn't realize just how shitty of a task that is when you don't have any of like the forgotten brew has been nice at least like that balances out the rng a little bit um but you know i have zero interest in resetting a task literally like potentially hundreds of times nah, i'm just gonna go get get a shadow. wait for shadowers or uh, several increases yeah. so, like that that's just it like that is the only task that um i, I would have zuck on by now i think if that task didn't exist because i would have just potted the rest of them because I have no motivation to complete any tasks right now until until, until I know I can complete. Yeah, because there's no yeah. point in me like you want to be brick walled to Zuckhelm for something cringe that's like beyond your control. Yeah, and then the Toa ones as well. It's very hard to find teams if you don't have a shadow. Like I think I could do all those Toa tasks. Um, the 500 would suck without a shadow, but it's definitely doable. Um, but I have zero interest in doing it until I get it. So I'm basically shadow locked to Zuckhelm, which I know you don't need, of course, but it's just, it's so quality of life. Why wouldn't you? I mean, I was too, dude. That's why I was grinding the Toa so hard. Because I knew I needed it for the Zuckhelm. And I didn't know back then if the Toa task would be like locked behind it, which they kind of are, but not really. I, I really expected a perfect Toa in there. I, yeah, I, I thought I was, that was so sure relieved, coming. dude, when I saw I wasn't there. Because the, to, to be fair, though, and the yeah. perfect wardens are really hard. They're much um, harder than the top ones. The the nice thing here though is that you could do um you could do like the reset tech for every single room. But of course then you have like a supply issue and you know. Well for Akka it's easy to do the reset tech, but for wardens you kinda can only do it three times. Because when you run out of salt, it's not really worth it. Yeah, I I remember when I was doing that. Um I don't think we salted until we got to P three, and then we only needed one person to use adrenaline. Yeah, that's good. That's smart too. Um, okay, so do you want to jump into anything else you want to talk about here in this in this the topic? 
uh, I forget. Like, what was our actual topic right now? We've kind of rambled. Well, we have for 10 minutes. point based system to go, which we already kind of talked about. We have services and Zuckhelm CAs, like the talks we did together uh, last week, and that's oh, yeah, what yeah. made this uh, podcast happen. And CA, CA rewards and the point system is kind of talked about. So just to recap, like point system, my opinion, okay for elites and under, not okay for master and Zuckhelm. I think you're somewhat similar as well. Yeah, and I mean the master ones, you can do it all with a Bofa. Like a Bofa is all. Well, you can you do all really... these GMs with a Bofa. Some guy did it, so. Oh fuck that though. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I... Do that. fuck that. Oh. Um, but you know, you don't need scythe. You don't. You don't need any mega rare whatsoever to do any of the the masters. So I think that's a nice balance. Act. Now that said, it's harder, right? Like Magi had to go with me and like one other scyther. Um, who had an idea of what we were doing in order to get the time, but um, but it's doable still. All right. So I I, I do I think the math I think it's um achievable for most players. The resetting sucks, but that's just how it goes. All right. So I guess the, you want to talk about the services thing that we did the talks on. Oh yeah. So services are of course like on the rise. Um. Uh, I know, like, like service. Like, uh, this is such a funny topic. You know, can I introduce it? Sorry, I'm like really. This is like. Go for it. So, just Go like for, for context, like we were talking about this like uh, last week. And when we finally discovered like the numbers behind it, we're like, bro, we have to do a ramble on this. This is too interesting. People need to know this fact. But um, essentially, I have a friend who's in a service system. Well, he's not anymore, but he used to be. And uh, he's actually. He was an admin in the services Discord. And. Uh, they sold a Zuckhelm to some customer and the customer paid for an account that's like max gear everything to go from no CAs completed to a Zuckhelm from scratch. Well, from, from scratch, like the guy had like max combat and max gear, but like no PVM experience, no CAs previously done. And uh, there were like four guys taking turns, just like doing all the, the CAs like in one sitting and they finished a Zuckhelm in a week doing it that way which is absolutely freaking insane to think about and I, I was actually thinking about it and i was like that honestly sounds a lot of fun <laughs> like like imagine you're like potting cms like getting all the times one at a time bam 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 like just it sounds really satisfying but uh, oh yeah yeah do, do you know like think about it right now like as listening think about how much you think it would cost to pay for that and then i'll tell you so do you I want mean, to say let, the number, RNG? Or? I, I'm going to say, like, maybe let's give some context here, like, for some prices of uh, uh, different tasks. And, like, um, you know, every service Discord is going to have their own price. It changes over time with supply and demand and, like, power creep and all this shit. Um, but, like, I think, like, Perfect Top right now is running for, like, 400, 500 mil. There's high risk Top where you pay, like, 10 mil per fuck up. Um, if you yeah, want to do there's like actually the... also some ethical ways to pay for it where they do the raid with you and then they just help carry you and i remember for the perfect hob that's four. Oh, that's what it was yeah that that was for the not login service I, yeah i'm, I'm talking I'm, about I'm, the login like you literally like you, oh, you tell them like you give them yeah. your login credentials your password and then they do the cas for you so so i i guess the the login price is probably going to be like two-thirds of whatever the uh will carry you price is, just for reference there but you know like the the um if you want to get the 18 man like eight man toa or 18 minute eight man toa thing uh it's like 300 mil or something like that 250 mil like so those, those are some context on the prices for the viewers to try and maybe speculate as they go through their ca list how much it would actually cost to literally buy every single task yeah, which is like a that's fucking crazy dude but yeah so i'll, I'll give the answer so uh, it cost the guy seven bill <laughs> which is like what that's like two grand usd right that's yeah that, right and i i asked the admin of the um yeah don't name uh, names the G, don't name names the gm <laughs> yeah yeah i asked an admin of the gm discord and he's like again he was guessing um that you know he he thinks it would maybe cost like 10 or 11 bill if you were to do every single task including the kcs so yeah it, it's up there it's it's definitely close to that 10 bill figure but also you need to remember that like the if you were to pay for each task individually, it would cost probably closer to 10 to 11 bill. But since you're bulking everything in one, that's why they charge a little less. Yeah, it's like way yeah, more that's efficient fair. for them. So there is like a, a, a like a discount in that in that sense. But 
that's still like an insane price when you think about it and if you like if you i was thinking about this too like uh last night because i did an edible of course and i was thinking about how imagine you do like 2k toa cape and then all the money you make you just spend it on buying a zuck <laughs> it's so well scary. there's a uh there's a story of a guy uh from from we do raids who is speculated to have just done like 15 bill worth of necks and then buy a lot of tasks i don't know if it's like true or not for sure but a lot of people are saying it is um <laughs> so it, it happens yeah there's lots of people with i don't know how they get this much gp who go and like buy all this stuff well to, to like i mentioned with uh, the previous podcast with sally was it sally i don't remember but like 2k toa cape you make 13 bill doing four ten eight mans 2k top cape you make around seven bill 2k cm cape you make around eight bill so like definitely easy to make the money if you really wanted to yeah like my my bank's like 10 bill or some crap and i've i've given away probably a close to two bill of just a of fuck you money so yeah I've, yeah I've like given definitely. Away a lot of fuck you money too which is not smart looking back but whatever um but but yeah and like i mean it sucks like paying people um but sometimes like it's so frustrating that you kind of feel like you want to because he here's the thing there are some tasks where the amount of time you would take to find a team to pot it and do it sometimes it's it's break even point just to pay someone to do it like i mean i'll i'll just like straight up admit it i got i got outright carried for my toa one just because like i didn't want to find people for that yeah i got carried for that one i admitted it in my yeah. video but i i just yeah. want to emphasize to everyone listening there's a difference between the login services and non-login services so, so login yeah, that, services yeah. is when you give your account to someone else and they play your account for you and non-login services mm -hmm. is when you do the raid with them and they are they basically you're paying for teammates that's the difference and i think yeah I, I, some people might find that they're both unethical but i find the non-login very fair because you're basically just paying for someone else's time to do the ca with you which they might not need it or they might not care maybe they want to do it and they just get the money from doing it with you and you also ensure that your teammates are not horrible because some of these top tasks, for example, having a bad teammate, it really shows. Like you, lo yeah. you lose a lot of time. So paying for these type of services to ensure, like for example, like the Toa one, I paid 385 mil, but that was Jesus like a, a while ago. So it was more expensive than you, of course. And I literally like made the ticket. They booked me a slot. I showed up one and done within 20 minutes. I maybe invested 30 minutes of time. And if I wanted to do that legitimately in the CA discard, that would have probably taken me a whole weekend or a whole day. Of yeah. Finding yeah. a team, resetting, having like two, three shitters, filtering them out, and then finding new people. And then someone says, I have to go eat. Okay, we replace you. Like it, it would have been way worse. So and, I'm, I'm and glad so I paid for it. An interesting concept has emerged in the CA discord where they now do high risk perfect tobs. So um everyone turns on repeat failure so everyone can see like who messes up if you mess up you pay everyone so it's uh you're you so if other so if you're really good at the game and you're very consistent you don't screw up you will make a profit from this that's um, actually kind of cool too right yeah so that that immediately filters out people who you don't want on your team um or even if it doesn't filter out at least you make money if like you fail a lot like if yeah it's so, like for example if your teammates fail more often than you you're going to profit money from doing the CAs, which is kind of like, at least it, like, it's not necessarily a good thing, but at least it adds a positive to the CAs. Yeah. So it, it's kind of interesting to see in the, um, like, I, I won't say like black market because most of the services aren't actually against JX terms of services. Like most services are not login. Um, sorry, most CA services are not login. <laughs> um, pretty, probably pretty important to, to mention that. So JGX, I, I, I'm trying to remember. I think like Mod Ash said, he actually finds it quite interesting to see all this stuff has popped up. Um, and this is wasn't even referring to CA. Like he was referring to something way before that too. It's just a, of, of a similar concept. Like services type stuff. Yeah, like non-login services. Like that they've found that quite. Like I think at that point they were talking about like you know you can pay people for like supplies to bring you like prayer potions at wyverns or something. Oh yeah, I remember that. Some people were making money doing that. I remember. Yeah. So, um, I don't know, it, it's kind of interesting. And like, there's some, there's some tasks where you almost need to pay people for, like, again, like if you want to go do, 
um, like five man speed nightmare. If you don't have friends who want to do it with you, and like I, I asked the the CC for a week to help with like three tasks. Literally, zero people stepped up. Um, <laughs> well, no one zero wants people. <laughs> but you know, like, but you know, just like you know, perfect warden nightmare, um, perfect doc. It's like it's just it's annoying tasks. Yeah, no, no one's gonna block those with you for like for yeah. fun. Like, not those ones. Yeah. And so, yeah, you like I can understand why people get so frustrated that eventually they just pay for just a teammate, not not even like a hey, like I'm gonna AFK outside the room and do it. Like literally, just a like I just want someone to do it with me who can consistently do it. What I find cool too is there's services for like the uh, Toa kits, like the uh, 500 Toa kit, but it's non-login. So you basically just AFK all the rooms and the other person does a one plus one and solos everything and then you help for warden and you can't die and apparently those are insanely expensive i th i think i saw each. like i th i think i saw 500 mil but again each each one has like different uh prices and stuff like i think i was like I, I won't name the discord i was looking at like a discord that i think is dead now for services so that might be why it's higher Maybe because I, I I'm in a services Discord too that someone invited me uh, last week when I was researching this, and uh, mm. prices are fucking insane, dude. Like I'm looking at these prices and I'm just thinking like, dude, the guy that's selling you this is making like forty mil GP an hour, and for some tasks making up to like two hundred mil an hour. Like the all pre Z back, uh, I'm obviously I'm not naming, naming the guy's name, but I was talking to some dude on Discord and he was selling it to some dude in the afternoon for a hundred mil for that one task. And, and so this is what I find interesting. Like, you know, like you make insane, insane amounts of money if you are good enough at the game to sell these services. Um, what do they spend that money on? A lot of people, it seems to be, is they'll actually, like the, the biggest people who buy services are people who sell it as well. And there's different kinds. It's not CA. Like they're selling maybe like, uh, I don't know, like maybe like top uh, combat achievements for an, their alt to have someone play and do like Krill or CG on it. They get like two mil a kc or something like that yeah they like serve uh, there, there's actually also like the 4d uh discord that does boosting and i was talking to them and most of them the money they make from serve like doing the toa boosting and all that they just dump it on like buying um boosting for pets or buying like uh you know the uh clue scrolls implings for collection login they like they spend it on the game and they don't actually rwt which is i find well, that it cool is too. yeah isn't the core pet like 10 bill or something like that? Yeah. It's, like to have like the guy with his like 20 accounts, accounts come in there. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently it's one mil per kill count. So at five, five bill for the pet, I guess, if you go on Ray. Yeah. That's not, it's just it's one bill per KC is actually very reasonable. Yeah, you do like, you do like 60 kills an hour, bro. Like you're dumping 60 That's mil an not hour. Bad. <laughs> yeah. And so like, like for reference, you know, like, I mean, I've, I've helped people on um, Celsius. Like I've gotten asked to help out with like um, certain like hard mode ones, for example, um, like some, just some like top speeds and stuff. Um, I've done a lot of entry mode ones. <laughs> I've, I've made a lot of money on entry mode ones. Just, you know, you go inside top bank, there's people who like ask for help. I'll just say, this is my price and they'll you get some people who just do it like they're they're level 90 holding like bandos and a rapier back when it was like 120 mil and like an avernic it's like and like they, they clearly it. oh yeah 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 <laughs> man's fucking taking advantage of the noobs dude i mean i every single time i tell them hey there's a video this is really easy to do just in case but i'll and do it they... for 15 mil yeah yeah, I remember like uh, the, I was at top bank AFK and some dude was like trying to sell the CA to some low level for ten mil, and I was like, "Bro, what the fuck?" And then I told the guy, "I'll take it, take him for free," because I was kind of bored. And the dude that was trying to sell it got pissed off at me and was start flaming me, and I was like, "Lol, <laughs> so what the fuck?" That happened, dude? <laughs> but but yeah, the, the CA is like if you were to buy his account from scratch, it'd be outrageously uh, expensive, and and like. And here's what I find quite interesting. Like, like people know if you've bought if you've bought a yeah, task or two, thing. I don't think people care. If you've bought all your tasks and It'll brag about it, like imagine you have a Zuckum and you're doing like regular chambers and you keep dying on Ohm and you don't understand the mechanics. It's like what? What the fuck? Like how? I, was, I don't know, man. Don't don't do that, guys. If you're listening to this video. Don't 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 pay for login services. It's not yeah. worth it. Puts your account at pay, risk. Pay for heroin instead. <laughs>
pay for edibles, T. Uh, so what should we should move on, I guess, to our next point of the topic? Uh, well, I guess what are your overall thoughts on like services and CA services in general? Um, I, I don't disagree with them. You know what? If you, if you don't have the interest to get better at the game, or maybe you're an Iron Man, it's just like, you know, maybe you just went brown tree dry for a, a shadow or something or whatever it is, or like a Bofa, like that dry for a Bofa. We've had people go 2k dry for that. If, if if you want to pay someone an outrageous amount of money to do a task that is not that hard to do, all, all the power to you, as long as it's not login. I, I don't like login services. Um, but, you know, if you're really just like, I just want to pay for teammates who can help me out, go for it, if, if that's what you want. Because um, you know what? At the other end of the spectrum, there's people who are going to make a lot of money doing that. And a lot of those people then, you know, make good, like, content for players to, like, consume on, like, YouTube, for example, or, or Twitch. Um or they're, you know, using that money to fund, like, pushing world record attempts. Like, you know, doing, like, world record top attempts is very expensive because D-darts go burr on the ground, for example, Blood <laughs> Furies. So I'm down for it. Why not? I don't really mind it either. Like, I think it's I think it's cool that there's a market for it. I think it's cool that people are willing to do it for money. And it's, like, a, its own ecosystem that exists in, like, the, the, well, the realm of RuneScape. But... I do think login services are kind of cringe, uh, but if you if you want to do it, I I don't care. Like I'm not gonna judge you for it. Do what you, you do you. If uh, if you find that your time is not worth thirty mil an hour to do CG or whatever, then I guess have fun, pay for it. But um, and for the uh, CA boosting, I think those are really awesome. Uh, if you do it, I only recommend the for the uh, boosting Discord because I know that those guys are legitimate. So. I feel uh, like I feel better by myself giving money to players that I know are going to spend it in like a non RWT way. So my recommendation is always just like, just try the task out, like give it a shot yourself first. Like it's not, they're usually not that hard. Um, you know, maybe that means you need to, maybe you need to do a hundred tobs to like get better at top, for example, but, yeah, but don't just, point don't CAs, just give up you before know? you start. Yeah. Yeah. You like the whole better. point to get better. Yeah. Because like if you if you get to the master helm, the zuck helm is not that much farther away. There's like fifty tasks in the zuck helm that are just like you will one and done them. You just need to go and do it. Like go yeah. punch Vorkath to death. Go kill well, Arma with the Salamander. A few of them that are harder, but you can definitely chip at them slowly over time. And you just look at the bosses one at a time and start banging them out. And it's really yeah, fun too. Like it's very satisfying when you get the uh, the CA uh, notification. There's maybe only like ten to fifteen C like CAs that are challenging. Uh, really challenging, yeah. Yeah, re really challenging. There's a lot that are very, very annoying, and you'll have to reset a shit done for absolutely. All right, cool. Uh, so damn, did we cover everything, dude? Point system, services, suck helm. Suck Helm tasks, thoughts, CA rewards. I think that's everything. Neat. Dude, I, fuck, I always teleport the wrong spot, dude. Shit. What are your thoughts on the new Muspa ones that just came out? Oh, like, my God. Okay. Wednesday. All I, right. I, uh... So, they're all very easy. The speedrun time was really annoying because it was a lot of RNG. Because the boss in general is quite a lot of RNG, too, to be fair. But, um, I don't know, I think, I think they could have made the speed time maybe a minute 40 instead, so it's not, but even then it's just, it makes it too easy. Okay, so the problem with speed times on bosses that are very, they're a joke, basically, like, like Zora's speed time, there's no skill involved. You just click boss, T-Bog over. Like, sure, there's a bit of skill in, like, doing your switches without losing a tick, but you can lose ticks and you'll still be fine, because it's, it's basically just big number on the hit splats. So something like Zora or Vorkaf, I think those are kind of cringe because there's no, there's not really skill involved. Same thing with most of what I found it was uh, too much RNG. Like you had RNG on like your regular T-Bow and Shadow Hits. And then you also have RNG on the prayer phase with your two crossbows. Like if you get unlucky and your crossbows don't proc the uh, Sapphire Bolts, well, your speed runs over. <laughs> now, alternatively, you could try to skip, but then that's even more RNG to skip. So it's like, uh, it's, 
I wasn't a fan of the speed time, but I was a fan of all the other uh, CAs. I think the Salamander one was kind of cool. I think the three in one was a little annoying, but it wasn't in like that difficult per se. It was just like a focus up for like five minutes and then you got it. The um, I've heard a lot of people really hate the Salamander one, actually. I, I don't like them putting those like type of arbitrary ones in honestly like i just don't either don't put it in or or change it up to something a little bit like more interesting <clears throat> i think the summit was, was cool it was like a unique way i mean they, they've they already done it of course for arma but i think it's i think it was kind of cool I, I don't know like you know kill it in like level 50 gear or something like that like room crossbow and like ibans i think would be I, that more would be cool fun too, than yeah, that, I think that'd be more fun That'd than just better than go with a salamander. Yeah. yeah, like the level seventy-five expert Toa. I think that was a really good task. I th like that well, was a lot. Except of fun. for the bugs, I think that was a really cool one too. The bugs were uh, were really bad. I wish I would have. Oh god, that. Oh, actually, yeah. So I guess talking about that one, I don't know if you heard like the whole story that happened with me with that. Um, no. I I have now done that task three times. The Why? first time, the first time we did it. Um, I didn't know my Karis failed it. I never got a failure message for it. I had the I had the yellow <laughs> Karis with me. The second time I did it, we still don't know what happened. Um, the old, like I had I had the right gear. The I used the exact same gear for the when I actually got it. We think what happened is because uh, whoever I was with died while doing it. I didn't die. They died. Um, it failed it for me for some reason. We got we didn't get a fail message. I've so had people say it, that, but your colleague got it. No, no, no. So he he already had the task, but like, but I st I still failed it. Like I I don't think I died that raid. Um, Th those two CAs were so bugged. Like oh yeah, oh, yeah they they were, and that, that's the annoying part as well is they don't test the CAs. So like, there's a you're really Dude, incentivized. Surely to they test the CAs. The I don't I don't second, believe that they don't test the CAs. The second that like I don't know that or there's too many like things that happen, but. The second the CAs come out, you have to pot them, right? Because it's like, oh, you know, gotta do this before it gets fixed, right? Like, well, it's, it's you have to do it before it gets it. fixed, and you have to do the team task before everyone finishes it, and you're not there. Yes, and that's the annoying part as well, right? Like you, um, if I like, every, you know, every time I ask for a team in the C, say, oh, sorry, everyone's already done, you know, perfect warns and stuff. It's like it's like when the CAs came out, Heffy joined like a Valiance team, and he did the eight man Toa speed with them. It took him like three hours or something. And I didn't have a shadow, so I couldn't join them. So when I got the shadow, like no one was potting it, and I was like, "Oh, rip! Lost my, uh, I lost all the gamers." <laughs> yeah. So I, I wish there was. Um, I don't know the solution here, but it would be nice if there was an, a system where that wasn't just like I will pay you four hundred mil to help other people get team based CAs. I don't, I don't know what it is. Um, to be honest, I have no idea what what the solution there is, but there's just some tasks where they either need to get, like, imagine Podden Nightmare or Eight Man One Fifties. Like a year from now, you're doomed. Like it's hard to even like learn Tob or regular Chambers nowadays. Never mind. Yeah, it's true. Those regular CAs. Chambers, dude. I used to teach regular Chambers so often, and now I refuse to do a regular Chambers. With, with so much of the game has gotten better, they're like, yeah, I want to do scale chambers, or I'm gonna solo it, or I'm gonna I'm go gonna straight to CM or Toa instead, or CMs, yeah. That's yeah, like I, there's very few people who do unscaled trios. Like that was the norm two years ago, right? Like you could find that everywhere. Yeah, no one. When RCC, that. we were always doing that. Every day we would be running unscaled trios. Yeah, which I mean, you know, not efficient at all, but that's what that's what you do when you start chambers you do unscaled trios that's you can start with solos but like that's just beating your face against a brick wall yeah that's that's rough a few people have done it but that's like you have to be very strong in terms of like resisting the other rage of not being able to pick it up fast because you won't <laughs> Yeah, so like it'd be nice if there was some solution that I can't think of in place to incentivize players to go and like help out other people. What that is, I don't know. I think the current system is probably good enough because as we get more power creep and as people get better in the game, there's going to be a, a larger pool of people who can do the CAs and there's going to be a smaller pool of people who need the CAs. Yeah. So, I, so prices will regulate over time. So now maybe you're paying like... 100 mil versus like 250 mil which is probably the only solution that's actually going to work but i like the uh, high risk one that's a very good concept 
it'll be hard to apply that in like a speed run though because like you can't really track mistakes yeah Maybe like, use, they, like the tick counter and then every person that's like behind on tick counter loses like a like imagine you lose like 10 kgp per tick you're behind on the first person or something along those lines bet i will chally poke nylos Oh yeah, that gives you seven ticks, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you will always be on the top of that leaderboard. <laughs> That's cringe, dude. I didn't think of that. <laughs> um, but but yeah, like there, it'd be nice if there was. I I, I like the high risk things because like you're it's incentivized if you're if you're just a late guy who's going for CAs and is okay at the content, like it's it's okay for you. But I I, I think the either way going. I think the service is. Um, not meta, but the services like discords and uh, like opportunities is probably the the regulation needed for people who are going into CAs late. Yeah, like that's probably just all you have to do. I'm interested to join those. I would be down to help out to like carry people in the 300 speeds because that does give you kill count for the 2k cave. So, so here's here's the so some of the services discords I've heard. I don't know a lot of details. I've just like heard rumors. They've failed or like they've been failing. So like most services discords, if you want to actually sell the carries, um, first off, there's a finite number of spots. They don't just like take 500 people who are like, okay, all these people can do it. It's it's a short list. Like you have to be in a community. Um, if there are discords that are open, like you can sell these services, you have to pay like 500 mil to a bill at minimum to be... Because it's a deposit, right? Because they want to make sure you're not going to just going to scam whoever. Oh, so um, you have to deposit money working. if you scam. You have to deposit money yeah, and that makes sense. like collateral, just like, basically. Yes, and some of these discords have been failing. It's it's been a pyramid scheme essentially. So if they fail, um, you lose all your down deposit. <laughs> yes. Yes. That is like a pyramid scheme. <laughs> yes. So so same thing. If you didn't get in those those services early enough. They're now closed for recruiting. You maybe have to risk a little bit more, or you have to be friends with the right people. So you, it, you know, not just anyone can get into services as a seller nowadays. You either you have to be good at the game, and you have to know people. Damn. And you have to have the money to collect. Yeah, but I would only want to do the uh, boosting ones, like the non-login ones, because I'm pretty sure you can get banned if you sell services too. If ones. you log in ones, yeah, lock ins are illegal. Uh, the other ones are illegal. <laughs> the other ones yeah, are are the rules. not unethical, I guess, is what Jacobs would clarify it as. Did I can hear your cat complaining, bro. Did you feed yep. it? Yes. Good. <laughs> what kind of question is that? Sorry, I was fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I let it starve three days at a time. You let it starve until you get a purple from Toa, then you feed it. Damn, that cat didn't eat for three months. <laughs> Bruh. Alright. Uh, yeah, I can't think of anything else. No, I think we covered... I actually did not expect us to hit an hour with this, to be honest. Which is kind of cool. away kitty all right well i think that's that's that then i can't think of anything else so yeah me neither all right uh let me see is there anything else we wanted to say mm, what are your current goals so that if you rewatch this in like a year you can remember what struggles you're doing um find willpower to play at this point i'm like a coin flip away from the ironing but Aww. um probably Get like really once I get Shadow, I'll just spend a week or two and get the Zuck Helm. Um, I'd like to go for like sub fifty-five Inferno. Yeah, as well. those are fun. I want to get a sub sixty. I don't know if I can get a sub fifty-five though, but yeah. Yeah, uh, you so there you can do it apparently without chins and with amethyst ammo. Um, I saw a video uh, last week of that. So Who and that was on an Iron Man. Uh, it was on an Iron Man too. Was it Pappy? Who did it? No, uh, Ivan. Hmm, I don't recognize. <clears throat> yeah, he he actually just did. Uh, he's 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 a a normie next week. He did the um, forbidden that hopefully Jagex doesn't know about tech that you can use the DR in a limited account. Oh yeah, you ex you expose that. Don't leak it, dude. We can't have Jagex remove that from the game. <laughs> no, because I I kind of want to have the option available to me. <laughs> 
If you want to know how to do it, PM or help me RNG on Discord. Uh, that'll be 15 mil, thank you. And uh, 2 mil split to me. That'll be 17 mil, thank you. <laughs> Dude, I'm sure, honestly, people would probably pay that if they wanted to de iron, like, bad. I, I would pay, like, fuck it, lock it behind a bill. You need two Tebos to de-iron. Have fun. <laughs> Uh, actually, it's an interesting topic, dude. Like for for de-ironing, like a lot of my friends have been uh, de-ironing lately. Just kind of sad. I mean, Endgame Iron Man just just sucks. <laughs> it's go do a five hundred hour grind or or bank stand. Pick your option. Bank standing is always the best option, dude. That's what I do. That's except bank stand I'm best slot. Going hard on the lava dragon tech. Two week ban incoming. Dude, that would be really not funny. But it's possible. Uh, but yeah, if, if anyone's actually considering de ironing, by the way, uh, before you do anything impulsive, I would recommend watching the Save A Cast with a Cold One. That was released, like, I think it was like two years ago, dude. But uh, they t he talks about de ironing because he actually went through the process of de ironing his iron back in the day when it was like a really, really insane iron. And he kind of gave his whole thoughts behind it, and I think that's like a really good uh, reference. A really good reference if you want to try to consider the ironing. And if you are going to de-iron, make sure you uh, sell to the shop. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Fun. Make sure you use the game shop if you de-iron. <clears throat> sell everything and then buy like triple the bank value. It's kind of fun. Stop. You can do that, but yeah. Oh, imagine being a normie with a twenty bill bank. I could I could buy Zuckel and buy Best in Slot and still have <laughs> fucking money. You could buy Best in Slot with like placeholders, dude. Pretty much. All right, I think that's everything. Yeah, that is everything. All right, well that was a good chat. I guess uh, we'll do another one of these in the future, most likely. It was an excuse for me to do agility. I'm thirty k xp away. Excellent. Click this one. All right. Well, thanks for listening, boys. If you enjoyed the podcast, make sure you drop a like and a and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace out. Peace.